Hello everyone and welcome back to Cobian History. In today's episode of Medieval Professions, we are going to have a look at the confectioner. Or in other words, how things like candy, sweets, candied fruits and jams developed over the ages. Before sugar was widely available, honey would be the base for confectionery. Honey would have been used in ancient China, Greece and Rome to coat fruits to preserve them, as well as create sweet meals. It is believed that sugar was discovered on the Indian subcontinent between the 6th and 4th century BC, but it wouldn't reach Europe until much later. The word confit, after which the profession of confectioner is named, comes from the French verb confier, which means to preserve. In France, the word was first applied in medieval times to refer to fruits which are cooked and preserved in sugar. In Europe, these basic candied fruits using sugar date back to the 14th century, when sugar starts to become more common in Europe. During this period, the words confit, confect, confit were generic terms for an array of sweet meals created using roots, flowers and fruits that are preserved in sugar. The process of confectionery back then aimed to preserve the whole fruit, its peel or even small pieces of the fruit by submerging them in hot dense syrup, slowly cooking it and during this the moisture from the fruit is absorbed by the syrup and thus preserving it. This process is a little more sophisticated than the process of preserving using honey which was used in previous centuries but it's based on the same principle. The sweetness that we associate with confectionery today was just a pleasant side effect of the preservation process in those early days. It was in the 1500s that food such as marmalade became popular for its sweetness and soon became a culinary preparation, especially for royalty, increasing the demand for confectioners. Around the same time the term confit came to refer specifically to a seed, nut or small piece of spice encased in a mass of sugar, which was usually round or ovoid in shape. And it's here where the links to modern sweets or candy become visible, and the production of these became a core skill that confectioners had to master. Because of this, confectioners were also generally called comfort makers in these times. In the 1600s, Chutney travels to France and England from India, introducing new recipes for confectioners. But it wasn't until the late 1700s when sugar became accessible to almost everyone, and as a result of that, we see a spread in the consumption of candied fruits and fruit jams as culinary delicacies available to the masses. In 1847, the British chocolate company J.S. Fry & Sons discovered a way to mix melted cacao butter into cacao powder, along with sugar creating a paste that could be pressed into a mold. And that's how the modern candy slash chocolate bar was invented. This company also produced the first chocolate easter egg in the UK in 1873 and by 1919 the company merged with Cadbury. In the modern day the term confectionery can be split into two categories. Sugar confectionery, which we talked about in this episode, and the other is baker's confectionery, which includes items such as cakes, sweet pastries, donuts, scones and cookies. I talked about the history of pastries at the end of my last video, so if you're interested in hearing about that, you can check out my video on the baker, which is on screen right now. Otherwise, you can check out my channel to find a wider range of historical topics. 